video, we're going to take a look at index table pattern with sharding. Now to understand what is index table pattern is, we need to first understand why we need indexes in database. So why do we need indexes in a database? Now here you can see we have our table which contains customer data as well as customer ID. And the customer ID is gonna be our primary key or the index for this table. And the reason why we need it is because it helps us to quickly find the data without searching each and every single row in the database. So in this case, if I want to get a customer based on an ID, I can basically quickly locate that data without iterating each and every single row to find a customer with an ID equal to one. So let's get back to the real question. What problems does the index table pattern solve? So since indexes is faster to locate data in a database, can we have more indexes on other fields? For example, right now, in this case, each table has a primary key and we can use that to retrieve or locate data in a database, right? Based on the customer ID. But let's say if we want to query data based on a customer's last name or customer's location or town or anything like that. Then in this case, we have to create another index in our database to retrieve data even more faster. Now, there are a couple of strategies for structuring our index table. Now, for the first strategy in index table pattern is to create a duplicate table and organize by a different key. Now, you can also create multiple different table here, as you can see. But basically, we're going to have a different key for each duplicate table, right? And when I say different key, I'm talking about secondary key because we can only have one primary key and the primary key is going to be the customer ID. And for the secondary key is going to be, for example, town, right? Here you can see we have an example where the secondary ID is going to be town or last name, right? In this case, if I want to query customer data based on the town or last name, I can do that very quickly, right? To locate the data very quickly using this strategy. Now, the problem with this strategy is that if data is always changing, right? Is the data is always updating and then it would be very challenging to maintain each index table, right? Index, or I should say the duplicate table because data is always changing. We have to update all the indexes table as well. Now, if the data is very large, it will also take a lot of space to store the duplicate table as well. Now, the second strategy is to create an index tables for different secondary keys. And you can see we can have multiple secondary keys. So for this index table, I can have town as the secondary key. And in this case, I can also have another index table. The last name is going to be the secondary key. So if I want to find a customer data based on a town or last name, I can do that. And for this index table, this will basically return us the customer ID, which reference to the fact table or the original data, original table. And we can basically retrieve that using a two lookup operations. And that's one of the downfall for this strategy is that if we have to perform two lookup operations to find a customer data. In this case, if I want to find a customer who lives in Chicago, then I have to get the first, get the customer ID. And once I get the customer ID, I have to find that in the fact table. Right, so that's two lookup operations. It's pretty good compared to the strategy one where we have to store many duplicate table and we have to maintain them, but can we do better? For the third strategy in this case, what we can do is that we can still implement the same strategy as strategy two to basically store in, or I should say using index table, right? To store the secondary key as well as the customer ID that reference to the fact table. But what we can do instead is we can also store the common query data in the index table. Now you can see here, basically we still have our secondary key and we also have our primary key, which points to the fact table, but we also have our commonly queried data, right? In this case, for example, last name or or for example, location or whatever, right? We put that, we store that in the index table. And in this case, if we want to retrieve data that are not available in the index table, we can retrieve that in the fact table, right? Now, the problem with this is that it takes space. Here you can see we have to add additional space to store the commonly queried data in the index table. And we also have to maintain them, right? Maintain all the index table. If I need to change the last name, I also have to change it not only in the fact table, but also in the index tables as well. Now, when should we use index table pattern? So one situation we should use it is when we're getting frequently reads. For example, if we're reading data frequently, or, or I should say, if we have a lot of reads operations, then we should consider using this pattern, but we also should make sure that we have low frequently writes operations. Let's say we have high frequently writes operations, then we have to maintain, we have to consider to maintain the index table to make sure that those index tables are synced with the fact table. And the other situations when the secondary key is a small value. So 
let's say if we have boolean integer string enum and etc those are fine but if i have a list for example list of string list of locations list of integers or something like that then in this case we cannot use that as a secondary key now we can also use index table with sharding so basically what sharding does is to divide or partition our data into multiple tables and uh, here you can see we have our original table and we have a couple ways to shard or partition our data and one way you can see we can do vertical partition for one table Table, we only store the first three columns and the other table basically stores the last column with the customer ID column as well. And the other way to partition is to basically to have all the tables store all the columns. But in this case, we're only storing half of the data in each table. So here you can see we have an example of index table using sharding. So for our index table, you can see we have our secondary key, which stores town and, and the last name. And uh, let's say if I want to find a customer based on the town and last name, it will this will give us a sharded key and the sharded key is going to be like our customer id which is hashed and based on that we can find which table stores the customer data based on that we can basically find which shard contains the customer data and then once we find the table we will basically find that key in this case it's going to be bac so we're going to retrieve that customer data based on that now for sharding key basically has two elements one is partition key and the other one is row key so here you can see we have our partition data or we have multiple tables that are partitioned and they all the genre that will be in the same partition will be in the same shard and you can see here we can also have multiple row key right for example different movie names in the same genre right which contains in the same table what we can do is that we can also have sharding keys for example the partition key and the row key in index table so here you can see for our index table we have our partition key we have a row key actor and a movie name based on those two right for example if i want to find data based on the actor and the movie name or a customer and then what we can do is that based on that we can also retrieve the movie data in the index table and then if for example let's say those data are frequently queried then we can retrieve that or if we want to query additional data which store in the genre partitions what we can do is that we can use the genre key this is going to be our partition key we want to look in the genre partitions and this will basically points to a different table in this case you can see here we have our genre partitions you can see we have our partition key we have our row key genre and movie name right and we can be able to find data like this and this genre partitions so you can see here this could be our fact table which contains all the movie data or this could be an index table which in this case points to another table that we can be able to find additional information about.